episode three of the Squadcast. I'm Camille. I'm joined with Aaron, Alex, and Brody. And today we're going to be breaking down some interesting topics. Of course, we're going to be talking about the Xbox Series X Showcase. Well, it's not Series X Showcase. Xbox Games Showcase. We're going to be talking about gaming myths and also logic now on Twitch. Uh, how are you guys doing before we get into all that? Good. Hot. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Hot. I, I haven't had my coffee yet, so I'll answer you after that. Um, <laughs> but uh, I did. Uh, I guess this is a good time just to to jump into combo, just to get us going, um, to get the the mood uh, moving along here. I just wanted to uh, look back into our childhood, given this whole um, all these leaks that are happening with Nintendo stuff. Um, so if you haven't obviously uh, noticed, there's a lot of leaks coming out about uh, various different Nintendo games. The biggest one recently was Mario 64. These leaks have been coming out actually for quite a long time. I think it was like the release schedule was like every Friday for the past like year or something. Um, yeah. Some dude hacked in Nintendo a while ago and um, he got arrested. Then he gave all those files though to his friends to release on like um, intervals. Oh and my God. Yeah. So there's more probably to come. Um, but right now, recently, the big one that everyone's getting up, uh, uh, getting uh, all crazy about is Luigi Mario 64. Yeah. There were files found in Mario 64. And now the reason this is important is because um, so many people for so long have had this, like there's this myth and mystery that Luigi was in the game and you had to do some series of events or button presses or secret codes or whatever to be able to play as Luigi. Um, and it got me thinking because uh, I feel like that's not the only game that people have done this with. I know for myself personally, even though it was Mario 64, but it was a DS version, um, me and my friend would spend countless hours on scouring forums and, and just trying to find a way to unlock Waluigi. It was more of his <laughs> obsession, and I just <laughs> tried something with him. But uh, he's like, Waluigi's got to be in this game, man. Like, it's, it's got to be there. And um, I don't think he is, but we tried. We certainly tried. And we spent like, again, tens of tens, probably hundreds in all honesty of trying to climb up this waterfall in a certain way with certain characters jumping off each other, doing this yeah. to glitch through the wall, like so many crazy things. And it just got me thinking, of, I wonder if there was uh, anything from you guys that you can remember from your childhood, always having this mystery of like, oh, I heard there was this thing, even if it was just like a cheat code or like a, a an Easter egg tucked away somewhere that you spent yeah. countless hours for that you either did find out was real or still don't know to this day is something. Um, Camille, you, I, I'm going to start with you because you said that you were um, going to think of something. I'm curious if yeah. you did find anything. Well, I, I just want to firstly say that this Luigi thing is amazing. I feel like they should release a special version of Mario 64, but Luigi 64, just so we could play as Luigi. I'm, I'm a, I'm a whole two pl like player two advocate. Luigi doesn't get enough love. It's time to let him shine in one of the best games ever. Uh, my my moment actually does come from the N64 as well, and this is like the stupidest thing ever. But in Mario Kart 64, all right, everyone knows okay. in Wario Stadium you could jump the wall. But when the game came out at the time. That was one of the things you kind of had to discover. So like right when you pass the starting line, there's like two or three bumps, like big bumps. Mm -hmm. And you could jump over that wall. Chat, let me know if you know what I'm talking about in Mario Kart 64. But that was like, I was like, wait, can you? So I wouldn't like, like just lose all of my races because I would spend hours trying to jump this wall and I actually did it, was able to pull that from like the back of my pocket whenever I'm going up against my cousins or my friends. It was like the <laughs> best thing ever. I was so glad that myth was real. It like gave me another life. It like made me want to live more. <laughs> it was so yeah. good. It's so cool when you find these things to be true because yeah. it's that excitement. I don't know any more though, because like with the internet, like although there was internet back then, it was much more like I had to ask my mom if I could go online because I couldn't get disconnected from like her making a call, right? So like, I didn't have access to the internet as I do now. I don't know if I would have that excitement mm -hmm. now. Like the only other thing I could think of that would be close to that was like the whole Aerith myth of like um, Final Fantasy VII being able to play as her and then knowing now that you cannot, you cannot play as Aerith. Yeah. I think the, the, the issue is like, we can't have these like memories be made anymore because of the internet. Back then yes. it was like you had guidebooks or maybe you could get on the internet, but you're printing off 
fact sheets and, and sheet code and stuff, right? Like you're, oh my God, you're, you're, you're only allowed on there for a little bit until your mom needs yeah. to use the phone because you die, you die a lot. Um, <laughs> you go to the so, library to print Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so um, I don't know, uh, uh, Alex, are, are there any like old memories of like myths and games that you had? Uh, well, definitely in Pokemon, and it's funny because... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I mean, there's Missing No, that's like... Oh, okay, I was going to ask, yeah, is it Missing that's No? Real. Yeah, that's real. Then there's like the Red Gyarados. Um, I honestly never found these things. I only heard about them. Uh, but honestly, like, throughout... I don't even know how long it's been, but there have been slowly these leaks of like beta Pokemon. Like one of the mm -hmm. most recent ones was... Do you guys know the Pokemon Garchomp? Uh, I've heard the name. newer generation. I, like, well, I, I, I know nothing about Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> they have, like, Pokemon like, beta Pokemon. They have all these just like beta models of tons okay. of Pokemon. Um, I think there's like there's they they have them leaked for like all of the first gen. Hmm. So any of your first gen favorites, there's probably a beta leak of them. And it's very interesting to find that stuff. I don't know if that's really considered like a secret or anything like that. <laughs> Um, but that's always like really fun to to kind of find out. Uh, kind yeah. of going more to modern things, I really love Easter eggs, um, even if it's just yeah, like yeah. random secrets. I think that's like my favorite thing about playing story games is just like finding secrets. Yeah. Like I remember um, in Assassin's Creed, I would just I would love to like just randomly pick because you can pick up a broom and just start beating people up with the broom. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah, so get like a, a Metal Gear. Um, outfit, I think. I just totally forgot how a Raiden outfit. That's dope. Raiden. Yeah. Wait, so I love Raiden? 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 No, not Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Raiden oh. from Metal Gear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Raiden. Okay. Raiden. Raiden. Well, yeah. Raiden. 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 Okay. Raiden. Raiden. Okay. Raiden. Raiden. Um, not... Hold on. Yeah. I'll be going back <laughs> well, to my that screen. I'm big of a gamer, you guys. You know what? I'm oh, realizing now how many there were in Pokemon, going back to that, too. I mean, there was the, the whole thing with the SSN with Mew, like, Oh yeah. The ground. You also had in the back of the Pokemon lab, and I can't remember if this one was actually proven true or not, but I'm pretty sure Meryl was was in Pokemon Blue and Red. Um behind the I think it was like the laboratory up behind yeah. like the water gym or something. That pat that route. Uh, I actually remember that. Route. Um I think Meryl was in the game. Yeah. So they they had planned yeah. a lot of these Pokemon um ahead of time. Even looking like um the first episode of the anime, Ho oh flies by. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. Like uh, they had a lot of that stuff planned um, beforehand. Yeah, that, I've realized. Yeah, Pokemon had had a lot. lot of those I, things. Yeah. I also actually one really fond memory. I remember it was like being afraid of that one tower. I can't remember the name of the tower, but it was like it was like the the ghost area, and people would say that 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 level is haunted. Does anyone remember that at all? <laughs> no. I can't remember. Oh, it was, yeah. What? No, yeah, I don't. I used to be mean. like <laughs> legitimately scared of that, but probably not Caboose because Caboose is a psychopath and watches and reads like <laughs> horror stories before he goes to bed. Listen, it's fun yeah, to be scared. Out, he's psychotic. He's psychotic. Scared. He likes reading scary I'll things. tell you what, though. I do have a, a fun conspiracy. Well, maybe not a conspiracy theory. It was more of like a prophecy, but it, it did end up Ooh. being a conspiracy theory for a, a limited amount of time. Um, back when Arkham City, well, actually, Arkham City had been long out and released when this happened um there was this character in the game that you could go to his name is calendar man and he's one like he's one of batman's goofier villains but they made him a little cooler in the arkham games yeah yep. and what was cool about the character was if you went to him where if like your console's date was literally set to let's say thanksgiving he would have a specific quote related to thanksgiving or if you went to him on like new year's he would have something for that um and then so years after Arkham City had already come out, this random YouTube channel, which was probably created by Rocksteady to the, the, the developers of the game, they put out just like a random little video. They said, wait, is this a new Easter egg or a new Arkham City Easter egg? And then this, uh, th this content creator who is like huge in the Arkham community, like two days later, he cracked the code. But for those two days, people were like, what the hell is this? Mm -hmm. uh, and it turns out, if you, if you set the date of your console, to the day that Rocksteady Studios was founded, he has a new quote. Calendar Man has a new quote that's a prophecy where he literally says, I was there at your beginning and I will be there at your end. And he's talking to Batman when he says this. Then, if you play Arkham Knight, uh, and I guess spoilers for Arkham Knight, the end of the game, the finale of the game is that Bruce Wayne, like, kills himself. Like, the Wayne Manor blows up. Yeah. 
and there's Whoa. like a ton of press, ton of news there. It turns out if you pause, if you freeze frame at the right time, Calendar Man is there Whoa. at Wayne Manor. And so it's like this prophecy that was created, but like for a second, like for a good two days of Rocksteady initially teasing it, people were going nuts. Like, what the <laughs> hell is this? What is going on? And yeah, they, they had an Easter egg in the game that nobody had figured out for years. And they themselves, the developers of the game, had to be like, okay, let's drop a little hint for you because we want people to know yeah. about this when our <laughs> next game comes out so that the prophecy can come true. And it's oh, it's, it's so cool. It's so yeah, cool. That, little tiny things like that is definitely why I love games. That yeah. attention to details is uh, what makes like, can really make a game just go that extra level uh, oh, above yeah. and, those, and those games were, were uh, phenomenal games as well. Too. Yeah. Those little things are, are exactly why. Yeah. 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 Like I feel like um, Undertale got its cult following because of mm. all the, the crazy like hit secrets and yeah. like levels and ways to do things. Um, apparently, uh, what's that? There's like a Nintendo game that was like Earthbound. Is Earthbound like that? I just always hear that Earthbound and Undertale are kind of similar, but I've never played. I'm not sure. No. I'm not sure. I didn't play a lot of Earthbound, but I do know like a lot of Nintendo games, I think they're they are written that they're very self-aware of the other core franchises. So like even playing The Legend mm -hmm. of Zelda and like seeing Mario items in the game, oh. like it's just such an excitement. Actually, one that stands out that is not Nintendo, but it just has to do with Nintendo. Yeah, so it is about Nintendo, but Nintendo didn't do it. Dying Light, like they have this part where you actually go down a pipe and it's like the underground world of Mario. And because it's like first person, like you're literally jumping up and down. Uh, and it, that was like so cool. The best thing about it is like when it's completely unexpected, um, when you interact with an Easter egg that like you feel that excitement firsthand, right? It's like a different type of excitement rather than you trying like myself with the Mario with the Wario Stadium trying to hit that jump like of uh you know completing that challenge then when you get that surprise mm -hmm. there's so much beautiful mm -hmm. stuff that could come from video games I'm curious like for chat like if there's any secrets that they've actually experienced from games that they were very happy that they experienced or um they still don't know if they exist uh Jason said that there was a blue Pikachu what yeah that was Meryl Whoa. Oh, that, oh that yeah. Was, that was <laughs> yeah. Oh, they are. They both are mice. Yeah. That's the one I was. That was the one I was. Um, I was referring to that people was calling it like, um, yeah, just like B L U Chew or uh, Blue Pikachu. But it turned out that that was yeah the model for Meryl. Cool. Okay. Um. Then they said like it's so you. Yukio says it's crazy that people can figure out these Easter eggs though. Yeah. I can never think outside of the box in order to figure it out on my own. And that's absolutely true. And that's why it's very interesting. I want to give myself props actually, you know, okay. <laughs> New generation that has the internet to help them out. Okay. <laughs> I had to write things in a book when I would get a sneak <laughs> peek at the internet to try to figure out if this is something that I could do or just try yeah. to figure it out on my own. And uh, it's a completely different experience. You know what? You know? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a bit of props on one final Easter egg. <laughs> Let's all it. give ourselves props <laughs> on finding uh, Easter eggs. And then I'll let you take control of the, uh, the show back. But uh, there was a, a game called Resistance, Fall of Man, phenomenal game. Uh, oh, yeah. I played mm -hmm. a lot of it. I actually, um, that one. there was one time I was playing. Yeah, Resistance was super fun multiplayer. So I played. Um, I was playing online one time. And there was a dude that was killing me. That was invisible. Um, and I'm like, what's going on? And the kid was nice enough. He was actually he was actually my first friend on PlayStation 3 uh, at because of this Aww. event. Uh, and he's still on my friends list. Um, but he, uh, yeah, so we, um, he, ta he taught us how to do it. Um, basically to get invisible, you'd have to like, you have to glitch outside the wall. Uh, and he taught us the technique. Um, and that technique is what I end up using to find Easter eggs down the road. But that technique, then you get outside of the map onto this platform. And then once you're outside uh, of the platform, uh, what you can do, uh, there's an edge of the map where you can fall off and die. You have to use this specific grenade that like shoots gas out, then ignites it. So you throw it at the edge, wait a few seconds, time your jumps, so you're jumping through the gas cloud, it ignites, killing you, then your body falls off the map. When you respawn, you'll be invisible. Like first what? off, how did someone find that? <laughs> um, oh. but, yeah, right? Uh, but then anyways, the, the getting through walls thing, me and my brother would... Um, we would try to speed run stuff before we knew speed running was a thing. We would just try to beat levels as fast as possible by using this wiggle through the wall glitch. And um, uh, we ended up outside of a couple multiplayer maps finding 
little uh, teddy bears and rainbow trees that were always placed outside the map. Oh, wow. so they wow. intended on you finding these things. <laughs> and different levels, even in single player, would have this teddy bear in spots that you could not access. Um, These guys are awesome. so crazy. Yeah. Really, yeah. Remember the weird monkey family that you see in Halo Three, like that that's just like hidden in one of the story missions. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, the, I remember that being like, like they looked so like I don't know. They like just the scarab gun. This, yeah, the scarab that was awesome. Is that the one from Halo Two where you can find that Halo Two one? Yeah, yeah, the scarab gun. You have yeah, to drag a banshee through like a series of tunnels without it dying. Yeah. And then like steal it right as the loading screen happens for the next area and then fly up to this crazy spot. Yeah. I don't get yeah. how people figure this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Easter eggs are play Portal. Yep. Yeah. Really yeah. Of really yeah. Fun oh, yeah. Eggs. And I, that was one where I was really proud. I was like, oh, I found all these like little secret messages. Yep. And then mm -hmm. that was cool. Yep. I love that. Oh, you can yeah. always see G-Man like watching over you. And, each and, then, and then you watch you the can? I don't know if it's every stage, but like you can see in some stages, like there's like a window. Like really? Gym. Whoa. Yeah. I Eureka oh, cool. says yeah. also girl ghost girl in Pokemon X and Y inside Professor Sky Sycamore Sycamore lab. Sycamore. I I haven't played that game, so I don't know. Oh, yeah. Alex, are you a, uh, you're, you sound like you're a Pokemon <laughs> fan? Have you heard of that one? Yeah, yeah. I actually used to be a huge well not a huge, but I, I used to be big into po Pokemon content creating. Um but yeah, I do know of that one, but very vaguely. Also, all the professors are named after trees. So yeah, like yeah. Oak, <laughs> Sycamore. I don't remember any other ones. Um, but they do like to add these like little ghost Easter eggs in their Pokemon games, which is kind of funny because it's a it's geared for children. But like I said, like, I was talking about the tower one. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Pokemon lore is actually pretty dark. Like there was a big. Um... A big oh war. no! Here we go. We're going yeah. down. No, there, there, there's actually it's a, a, a <laughs> lot of actually a lot of Nintendo lore for a lot of their games is actually pretty dark. I love um, that about Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can check up any of those games. Go do your own research on on those. But uh, there there's some dark lore behind a lot of a lot of these franchises. Jason Japan, Legends, you know, Mortal Kombat. There's so many Easter eggs in Mortal Kombat, like uh, new, unlocking Noob Saibot. Yeah. All those oh things. yeah, the old yeah. games like getting the secret characters. I remember. Okay, if we're talking conspiracy theories, All let's right. talk about let's a character go. that was literally invented because of a conspiracy theory in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if it was MK one or MK two. I it think it's MK two. Really MK two. Yeah. So there was a, there was this uh, people theorized that there was a secret red color palette ninja in the game, and his name was ermac i think I, but i think it came because there was just it's a bug error. in the game yeah. and the and the bug was like the the, the bug message was error macro um and th that's literally all it was like the the folks who were at midway at the time now netherrealm they said like there was no such thing as ermac uh it was just literally an error and it was titled error macro but because people went so crazy about it they just invented the character ermac and now he is like <laughs> One of the most beloved characters in the franchise, and that is all built that's on cool. the conspiracy theory. I think that's awesome. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Sick. Uh, uh, Eureka, yes, I do know about that Easter egg as well in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. If you look through the window in Hyrule Castle Courtyard where you meet Zelda for the first time, you could see uh, Bowser, Luigi, Peach, and Donkey Kong. What? On the what? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's dope. So that's cool. Nintendo's just really good at doing it, and I can't wait for Breath of the Wild 2 to see what other, this is just a True. way for me to mention Breath of the Wild 2, obviously, um, to see what else <laughs> we could see from Nintendo. MK2020, what? Was there, There was there like a, a conspiracy about that, Aaron? What, MK2020? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, no, okay. Nothing that I know about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's saying that he wants a Mortal Kombat 2020. Okay, yeah, probably. We all would want a Mortal Kombat 2020, but there's so much Give content for Mortal Kombat right now. Yeah.